Hey, I'm Sunish from Team Must. In this video, we will discuss Navy method followed by the better approach for string matching, which is Boyer Murray method. So, starting with Navy method, which is the most common method for comparing a pattern in a string. Yes, it's the most common one, which we, we, we all practice while comparing a pattern in a given text. Maybe you are not familiar with the name. Let me ask you a question. If you are asked to match a pattern from a given text, what would you do? You would simply start comparing word to word from the starting of the text, that is from the leftmost corner of the given text till the time you find out the given pattern. And this itself defines the naive method. Let's see this with an example. Suppose we are to find the pattern ish -ish from the given text my name is Sunish. For an ish we can put it this way. Now we start comparing first character of the text with the first character of the pattern. If it matches, we compare the second character of the text with the corresponding second character of the pattern. But in this case, it doesn't happen. So we shift our pattern one space towards right. Now again, we compare first character of our pattern to the corresponding character of the text. We keep on comparing till the time we find the exact match. This method is quite time consuming. You can easily imagine this thing. If the case would have, would be such that instead of a small line of a text, we had to find out the pattern from a lengthy para or a lengthy essay or something similar. You could have it could have taken a quite while. So a better approach was suggested by Boyer Murray, which we are going to discuss now. Let's see. Before starting with Boyer Murray method, you have to remember some key points. At first, create a bad match table. Now compare the pattern to the text starting from the rightmost character in the pattern. Mark the difference. In naive method, we did it started starting from the leftmost corner. And in this method, we're gonna do it starting from the rightmost. So and finally when the mismatch occurs you shift the pattern to the right corresponding to the value in the bad match table to get this value we have to create a bad match table first now how to create this bad match table let's see for creating this bad match table you have to remember a simple rule where value is equivalent to length of the pattern minus index of the character which we are comparing at present at present minus one let's see this with an example suppose we are given the text welcome to team must and the pattern to be team must as you can see i have written index corresponding to every character of the pattern starting with index zero also length of the pattern comes out to be eight now we start finding out the values corresponding to every character of the pattern. Also remember one more thing, we don't repeat letters in the table. What I mean is if there are letters which occur more than once in a pattern, we write them only once in the table. Now coming back to the example. Starting with alphabet T, the value comes out to be 8, which is the index of T minus uh, 8, the length and min minus 0, which is index minus 1. So it comes out to be 7, as you can see further for E, 8, which is the length and 1, which is the index of E minus 1, which comes out to be 6. Similarly, for a, it comes out to be 5 for m it comes out to be 4 now further when m repeats itself that is when it comes the second time we see 8 minus the present index which is 4 minus 1 which comes out to be 3 so we override the previous value of m 
to 3. Similarly, when A repeats itself, we override the value which comes out to be 2 here. And similarly for S, we calculate the value and similarly for T. Now, mark, uh, see the difference here. One more rule you have to remember which is for the last letter, you keep the value equal to the length. If not already mentioned in your question, unless and until it's mentioned, you have to take the value equal to length. So in this case, we'll put the value of t to be 8. So we override the value of t to 8. And also one more thing, here you can see we have denoted the last letter of the table with an asterisk which represents any other alphabet other than T, E, A, M, S. We, de we denote it by the asterisk sign and its value is also equivalent to the length of this pattern that is 8. So our complete bad match table is created now. Now moving to the example as we said earlier we start it from the rightmost character rightmost character the pattern so its rightmost character is t so we started with t now we start comparing as t matches with the last uh, with the corresponding character of the text it's done then we come then we move towards left and compare the second last character with the corresponding character of the text which is E but this time it doesn't match so what we do is we put we see the value of of T of T which is equivalent to 8 and one more thing to notice is we take the value of the character which from which we started from which we started in the text one so here in the case in this case it was character t so we took the value of t which is 8 now we move our pattern 8 step 8 spaces towards right which comes out to be this way now we compare the last character of our pattern with the corresponding character of the text which is s it doesn't match so we see the corresponding value of s which is 1 so we shift one more step one more space towards right now the complete match is found so it was easy to make it more clear let's take one more example here the pattern is tooth and the text which is trust hard toothbrushes similarly we can find the length which is 5 and uh, mark the index as you can see now you can create the bad, ma bad match table yourself as it was quite easy now I have created the bad match table you can do it on your own so this is the bad match table of this example now moving on to this thing here we start comparing from the rightmost so H is on the rightmost we compare it with T it doesn't match so we move we see the corresponding value of t which is 1 we shift our pattern one space towards right this comes out to be this way now comparing it h matches with h t with t but o doesn't match with s so we see the corresponding value of h which is 5 and now we shift five steps towards right five spaces towards right which comes out to be this way again O doesn't match with H so we see the corresponding value of O which is 2 we shift 2 spaces towards right which comes out again to be this and again the value of T is 1 we shift it towards one space towards right which comes out to be this way and finally we get the pattern so it was quite simple I guess so I hope you really like the video. Do subscribe to our channel Team Must as there are a lot more videos coming on. Thank you guys, have fun.